Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome in Commonwealth Games bound swimmers and Fusion 5 partner athletes, Erica Fairweather and Lewis Clairbert. Great to see you both. Thanks for joining us. Uh, tell us about your preparations for Birmingham uh, and how they've gone up until now. Erica, let's start with you. How do you feel as you prepare to jet off? Yeah, I'm feeling really good, actually. I've been pretty lucky to dodge, you know, the flu, COVID, all that kind of thing so far. Um, so that's made training pretty straightforward for me. Um, yeah, just that, you know, steady build into it, I guess. I think with you, Lois, you did manage to catch the, the dreaded COVID, uh, didn't you? Did that affect things, I mean, at all for you? Yeah, I caught it sort of the start of the, the month of May. And I'm only sort of just getting back into it now, which is, I guess, towards the end of May. Um, mm -hmm. So it definitely took out a chunk of training um, for me. But I, I, I personally think I handled it really well. And I only actually missed uh, a week of, of actual swimming. So um, it's been OK. It's been it was a bit of a weird ride. And I guess in some ways I could say I'm lucky that I caught it before I left. And then I don't really have to hopefully worry about it while I'm overseas. So. That's one of the good things that have come out of catching it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Fusion Five, obviously, very proud to to be a you know a partner with you both. Um, and, and it's it's great to have sponsors, isn't it? But uh, but is there something a bit uh, I guess more helpful when you know that the the chief executive Rebecca Tuhill is such a big fan of swimming, uh, of elite swimming and, and and swimming itself, Erica. You know, she's not just sort of throwing money at whatever she wants. She's actually kind of invested in in the sport of swimming. Oh, it's so nice. I mean, we, I think Lewis and I both have quite personal relationships with her. Um, I mean, I see her almost every day at the pool in the morning. So that's really nice to, you know, have a chat with her, um, let her know how things are going, that kind of thing. So that relationship definitely um, is, is really great to have. Yeah, I know she spends her time in, in, you know, between Dunedin and Wellington as well as other places. So you get the chance to see her a bit as well, Lewis? Yeah, I haven't probably seen her as much in the last couple of years because um, I've, moved to different pools. So she usually trains out of Freiburg when she's in Wellington. And I've sort of moved to the Kilburnie pool. But it is pretty cool knowing that, you know, she loves traveling and watching swimming as well. And so obviously the last couple of years, she hasn't been able to do that. And I think unfortunately this year, she won't be able to travel either. But um, it is cool knowing that she comes along and she loves it just as, as much as we do. And she loves, you know, coming and supporting. And I guess knowing us personally as well um, makes, you know, helps build a more of a connection to, to what she's watching on, on pool side. So, of course, before we even get to the Commonwealth Games, you're both off to the world champs in, uh, in Budapest. Um, so, Erica, how do you manage to, you know, to build up towards two pretty big events? How do you, how do you manage your, your preparation? Um, I think it's pretty similar to other meets. I mean, I've done a pretty similar double before in 2019 with Worlds and Junior Worlds. So it's something that, you know, we have knowledge on and we know how to kind of prepare for. Um, so it's not entirely new, which is quite nice. So you're able to to sort of have a double peak, if you like, Erica. You can you can peak for one and then and then not long after that peak for another another major event. Yeah, I guess it's just, you know, the first one kind of sets you up quite well for the second one. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's all good. Of course, you're both back off uh, awesome Olympic campaigns a, a year ago. Uh, Lewis, you made the two Olympic finals, obviously, in your 200 and 400 IM. How much confidence does that give you going into, into the World Champs and then on to Birmingham? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome knowing how fast you can swim uh, from, you know, being in a situation where there's a lot of pressure and, you're at the highest, I guess, you know, stage of sporting in the world. And then being able to come down to, I guess, these smaller smaller events, but still really big, you know, international competitions. And I guess you can give yourself the confidence that you can swim your fastest at these events. And, um, you know, I think moving forward to this year, you know, I'd still love to keep, you know, trying to get faster and faster every time I race. And that's what excites me. Every time I race, I seem to get faster. So that's the goal. Absolutely. And I, I suppose, speaking of swimming fast, Erica, you broke Lauren Boyle's 400 metre freestyle record, um, you know, at, at Tokyo. I remember the look on your face. It was almost like you couldn't believe it. I mean, how much confidence do you get from something like that? Oh, it was a massive confidence boost. I mean, I dropped four seconds in that race and I, I knew I'd go faster than my PB, but I didn't know I'd go that much faster. Um, so that was super exciting and definitely, you know, it puts me in a good space going into this year and, you know, looking forward to the competitions. During that race, when you broke that record, and as you say, lowered your PB by so much, are you aware 
during the race that you're swimming faster than you ever have? Um, I kind of had a few kind of indications. I mean, Ariane Titmus was a couple of lanes over and I wasn't like too far behind her. So that was that was a good uh, pacer, I guess. Um, but apart from that, it was kind of just, just about like any other race. When you're racing, Lewis, do you kind of go into, I don't know, automatic pilot a little bit? Does your muscle memory take over and you actually don't have to think too much about it? It just kind of happens? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we train so much in the lead up, you know, in the years prior to these big events. And I do these, you know, we do these sort of things all day, every day. And I guess for me, when I get in the race, it's definitely is like autopilot. It's just something that I do, I guess, naturally. And the only thing I think about is trying to swim fast and relax and make sure that I'm not going to die before the end of the race and I hit the wall at 400 metres, you know, knowing that I'm, I'm confident in what I've, I've done. And for both of you now, obviously coming into the Commonwealth Games and I guess the World Champs as well, it's not like you're uh, you're unknown. You're not like a, a mystery to these other swimmers. Um, you know, your performances at Tokyo kind of almost, you know, put your front and centre really, certainly here in New Zealand. Um, is that a disadvantage in any way, Erica, that, that you can't sort of spring a surprise anymore? People know how fast you can swim? Yeah, I don't think it's... A disadvantage I think it puts a bit more pressure on other people I mean like you said I flew under the radar a little bit last year um but you know now there'll be a bit more attention which I know it'll be nice it'll be good um but yeah definitely putting the pressure on other people hopefully <laughs> and for you Lewis of course I mean you went to the Gold Coast four years ago uh, quite late in the piece your selection came and then all of a sudden a bronze medal so it's not as though you can fly under the radar anymore either I guess yeah I mean obviously I went into the Gold Coast four years ago, flying under the radar, I guess, sort of like Erica, although I think Erica's probably had a bit more of a profile than me leading into Tokyo <laughs> um, and compared to me at the Gold Coast. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've seen both sides of it. You know, I felt like I kept the quality when I was in, <laughs> in Tokyo. And, you know, this year again, I feel like it's probably going to be no different. Um, but I enjoy it. I think pressure is, is good. As an athlete, especially competing at the highest level, you have to feed off the pressure or else you just crumble. So um, I think you have to enjoy it and just respect it and have try, make the most of it and have, to, have fun. Yeah. Well, as I say, everyone at Fusion 5 is so looking forward to seeing how you guys go, not only at the Commonwealth Games, but at the World Champs and, and obviously everything that lies beyond that. So thanks so much for taking the time to have a chat to us. All the very best with the rest of your preparations. And here's to a great few months ahead for, uh, for both of you. Thank you. Yeah.